the stepdad when I was uh, 21, uh, yeah, yeah, I was 21, hit on me, it's not even hit on, okay, I'm not going to get into details, which I have never done this in five years, and I know cops and lawyers know that, there's so much I bypass, um, He had made patterns of hitting on me, even after that, on both me and the sibling. But this one was so atrocious, I told my mother. And of course, I was out. Uh, I was staying with them. Um, I had lost my kitchen job, which I called them kitchen jobs. Um, I wasn't aware of how much experience I had been gaining all my life. These people are not mother, they are not stepdad my father is not a father this is stuff that i did discuss in therapy it helps you understand if you don't already by definition what these people are so you're not confused so you're not in denial but i, I just i um because of the country i live in and the the depravity that they're capable of being here as an a mass of people, um, which I don't need to go into detail and sit here and make a case on this. It's so clear to the rest of the world what type of people you live around when you live in America or in the United Kingdom. Okay, it's so fucking clear what kind of people you're dealing with. They have no... Uh, I have no words now, so this is not going to be easy for me. Uh, just there's so much better words, but forget it. They have no morals. They have no conscious in mass millions. Yeah, it's because of a lot of things I'm going to bypass at this point. That is what you have here. Okay, they do anything for financial money that is the god the main value okay so um considering where i'm at the people i'm talking about are americans it's not surprising they did this i'm a victim of crime Okay, they don't care about that in the U.S. The cops are people who commit felonies. I'm done with this. I don't want to get upset on my video in the middle of the damn morning. Ever since she met him. When I was 18, it's been nothing but keep Heidi out of the house. That was the rule and the law there, okay? It did not apply to my other sibling. I did not know her hardly before this. I did not know her after I was 18. This is the stuff I told my therapist this is the stuff i would still work on with a therapist is called childhood trauma i did not know my primary caregiver very well there's other words for that i'm done with the words and the explaining i owe nobody anything when does someone ever step in to offer any, anything is my question. And then I realized, hold on, you're in America, Heidi. You have to stay strong. You have to realize what they're willing to do to other people in other countries. It's not just you. Or there's probably some nice people here in this country. Come on. I don't believe there's a lot, but there's got to be some. No, there's not a lot, and no one's going to disagree. I'm tired of always trying to beg and, and get someone to realize what the fuck they're doing here. 
This is like a big Germany, the U.S. In the 1940s. God damn, more explaining. Fuck, get a brain at some point, man. This is like a big Germany that people do not fucking care, okay? There's words. I don't have words. My writing, my vocabulary, everything's gone. The human brain can only take so much. I strongly believe I have immunity. I do, but that needs to be proven. And I know that. But I strongly believe I have immunity, okay, to certain things. I might. Let's prove it. I've just said this a million times. I can't prove that. I mean, I can, but I'm, I don't want to be a Petri dish. Let's prove it other humane ways. These viruses wash out of me, but my brain still functions like everybody else, okay? And that's my point. The human brain can only take so fucking much. And I broke down in my 30s. Um... And my therapist knew that. Well, I broke down before I met my therapist. They knew that. And the attempted murderers, the Walters and Eric Williams, had been playing that card. And this is what they want to talk to the cops about because it's so clear. I know it. And I was voicing my concerns about these three when these three started becoming very suspicious and other words, there's other descriptives, we're moving on, okay? When these three started up in my mid-20s, they worked as a, whatever the word, they worked as a trio, whatever the fucking word, okay? I'm so tired of this. My vocabulary is gone and then I'm expected to still have one. It's because I'm in a country that is like Germany. They overrising me. All right. Word working is the wrong word. I have no other word. When these three started working together when I was in my mid 20s, I voiced my concerns. Everything else that that means, okay? No, I didn't trust any of them. I didn't trust the mother and the stepdad to begin with. And it only was more. It was only more when I saw them start to work together. The feeling of mistrust. By my 30s, I broke down. No, it was like 28. I broke down at 28. It was too much because um, these are these are people who are m making a lifestyle out of lying and covering up. <sighs> violent felonies. And who knows what else they were into? I had no idea. And um, I must have been marked as a problem a long time ago. I don't know when because I didn't talk to them. Eric was a person who I saw as someone that could help me. I got my GED when I was 22 around him. No one told me to do any of this. Not Eric, not the parental figures. No, I did this. I didn't get into prostitution. I never did any of this shit. I was a nice girl. I don't know what they're into. I know I went way back in time here to 21 and 25, but this is stuff that I've known. By 28, I, it pulverized me. 
I got better at 30. Um, I went back to school. I'd been in school on and off. It's That shit can be proven by cops and lawyers. I never stopped. I acquired and acquired slowly credits, but I, because of having no parents, I had to do all that high school completion. Oh my God. I know, dude. I, what I did was really, really amazing. But I get no credit for it. I know that. And so, um, I got therapy for trauma by 31. And the, I remember the therapist saying, no one had ever told you. She looked at me and said, Heidi, no one ever told you you're a trauma victim, patient, things like that. I said, no, what is trauma? And we had to start from square fucking one. I be, for for years I worked on the childhood trauma when I was really small, really little. I mean, this is prolonged. You need to start looking up some of this instead of asking me, the victim of crime, to do all that because I can't. I don't mean to be mean to any viewers that are good people, but I'm just not in the condition while I've been on the YouTube and on the Twitter for the last five years, I came on five years ago. And what was I doing? Okay. I'm still doing it. I didn't come on a happy person. I came on someone doing all this counterterrorism out of nowhere. Remember that. Okay. Thanks. And what you have seen is my persecution. And I went all over trying to have people in English speaking countries fucking help me. No, no, they're brutes. The United Kingdom and the United States are savage fucking brutes. Whoa. And everything I said was true. The cops, not all the cops. Okay. I'm done with that. If anyone's noticed, I don't say that anymore. This is expecting way too much of me, man. I'll fuck you all. Of course there's good cops. The cops kill and pimp women. That's all they're really about. And then they transport and make drugs and all this stuff. I'm not going to tell the real cops or anybody the stuff they already know. I'm exasperated. I'm trying to just make it easier on myself if I can. So, um, by the time you saw me on the Twitter, I was wrapping up all of the high school completion, which was the math that I had never d finished. And I, I did need to be totally sober for that because I had had a drinking problem and we all know why. So for, and because I had been abandoned and all this parental felony crimes she committed against her small children um, I had incredible amounts of math to overcome and I did it. What I did academically is amazing and I know it, but because I'm an American in America, I get no fucking credit for that. What they do to me is try to cover up that I was ever here, a citizen and born here. And they make attempts on my life. That's what they do. So I made it all the way to uh, statistical math. Fuck yeah, I did. And um, I was about to launch into that. And this, this is why on my credits, I have six or nine credits left. And that was the story there. So I did all that, right? Um, but I had denied what 
the three m attempted murderers, Bonnie, Jim, and Eric. I had denied what they had done in my 20s. I was still in denial about that. I had faced the small child and teenage young adult trauma, but I had put away the actual attempts on my life. This, this abuse had just metastasized with these two people in my family. The abuse went from abuse to fucking ending my life. And Eric got in that, and I know that, and the cops know that, and I still can't fucking talk to them. This shit's obvious to me, and if it's obvious to me, you can only imagine, right? I took criminal justice, but I don't have any experience. Well, after five years, I have some, but nothing like a, right, nothing like a real badge-carrying cop, and I don't need to fucking state the obvious. Having to always state the obvious is what happens to you when you're in the United States or a place like England. The people are that fucking evil and sick and there's better words, you find it. I'm so pulverized here. My vocabulary consists of about 30 words. I'm completely pulverized. What they did to me the last five years, I'm still in a room with a ceiling that's coming off. It's just, I'm not even gonna get into it. This is unfucking believable. So I had denied that, all right? In order to get through the math and the challenges that are incredible that I did, I had to deny the attempts of my life these three had made. This is significant psychologically that I did that. I think it's probably textbook and I did do that, but I faced all the rest of it. Um, because I faced it, I've really got a handle on my drive to drink, which is why I still have prolonged sobriety. I, this is what I really strongly believe is why I don't have a real problem with drinking because I basically wrapped up most of what caused that alcoholism was the traumatic abuse, um, th as a small person. But I denied for the time, and this is in my 30s, okay? I was about 37 or so. At that age, I was denying the attempts on my life they had made. I had to. Although when they were doing it, like I said, I, I knew. I, fuck yeah. Um, okay. So um, here we are. When you met me on the internet, I was 40 and wrapping up the college and I had one year and about a half. This is if I did not take extra credits. This is if I did not go to summer school. I had a year and a half. So I knew that if I threw an extra class in, if the office, whatever word, would allow it, and I knew that if I went to summer semester, I could get my bachelor's degree faster. Do you follow me? And I knew that I would no problem be able to get into law school. I knew no problem would I be accepted, guaranteed acceptance into a good law school. This is when these three were not so crazy people the Walters and the Williams really started to behave again. Same pattern as always, okay? It was God's plan. Because this had nothing to do with anything I was, you know, in. That Putin and all these fraudulent politicians about a mile down the street where I'm filming right now. Um, 
were trying to hand over our sovereign territory to Iran. This had nothing to do with me, okay? We know that. I involved myself in that on Twitter, and that's when you found me, and I was 40 years old, wrapping up and doing everything I just said, okay? But at that point, I was still in denial about the criminal actions. Right, okay? I can't keep repeating myself because I'm upset I'm still in this terrorist cell. That's part of it, is why I just, I'm exasperated. So I went to bed last night completely astonished and in horror that these fucking people who have been doing this to their family member and made a lifestyle of it are still the fuck doing it. And this, I can't talk, oh, never mind. I can't talk about this terror cell, the people here. This is a big rule, it's for my safety. It got that bad because this has to do with Iran. How I ended up here, I, I don't quite know. To me, it had to be God's will. How the, f this guy put an ad out on Craigslist. I answered it. I answered every ad, okay? We could talk to the cops about all these details. And he took me in. I'm not going to get sidetracked with this. This had nothing to do with me. The fucking shit I witnessed them do here. Okay, nothing to do with me. So, so again, I can't whatever the word with what was going on in the country I lived in at age 40 and how they then after I involved myself with that three years later these same despots were putting out room for rent ads on Craigslist I again had nothing to do with that I answered the ad and they involved me in their fucking terrorist cell so I go to bed last night astonished that mostly about my and this won't surprise a therapist mostly about my biological relatives and Eric like I just, of course, you can only imagine how that feels. And, um, it, yeah. And um, that they're still just doing it. Like, this is their lifestyle. And they'll deny it. That's what they made a lifestyle of doing. Cops have seen all this before. And I guess they're just waiting for these dirty cops And when I start saying anything about this house is when I have to stop because as of yesterday and today, I can't talk about anything I'm witnessing is really, 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 uh, it's whatever the fuck these creeps are doing. I can't talk about it so I can be safe. Okay. It's in the hands of the higher ups. And might I mention a lot of the higher ups have doctorates, doctorates. So, um, yeah, yeah, which I respect people who go to school. I'm not saying everybody has to. No, 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 no. I'm way too punk rock for that. But if you do happen to have one of these huge degrees, I really respect people like that. In America, they use these degrees for evil. They use their degree for medicine, to practice medicine. And to hold a license, they used it to kill people here. Everything in America, and no one argues, they know, they see this. And in the United Kingdom, anything that was for good, they turned it to evil. And they attack other countries with it. They want to take all this other, uh, I can't find word. I think it's time I stop. Everybody knows what the U.S. and the U.K. are trying to do. It's for white power, high Hitler. High Hitler. All right. Bye.